and it was so simple. In gyms every day I see everything stretch and squeeze and incredibly light dumbbells. I'm sure you lot are aware of it as much as I am that my training it slightly lacks from time to time and that might be down to my own sort of ignorance but I've spent the majority of the day looking through many articles by Jordan Peters and training videos and with the help of James Hollinshead as well. Tomorrow we get properly on it. I'm very much looking forward to taking things seriously instead of far arsing about in the gym. It's Saturday evening today. I'll see you lot tomorrow. Uh oh. My family love a note in this house, I'll tell you. Broken, do not use. Fuse blown, keep stripping the lights. More notes. Keep or chuck. Today's breakfast we're having one scoop of serious mass with a serving of mixed fruit. Got well, this yesterday. Kilo bag for £3. Much better price. Having two eggs scrambled with wholemeal bagel. Breakfast is finished. Sundays are work are quite short, so I've got one meal at lunch, which is a pack of Uncle Ben's rice, tin of tuna, and I'll be having frozen greens as well. Short shifts, I'll come back and get another chicken meal in, chicken fajitas, peppers, and other rice. Then we'll go and train. Don't forget advent calendar. Oh yeah, oh, they are doing lint. Work is finished. I now have the tedious task of wrapping some presents. Roid rage, wrapping presents rage, huge. <laughs> We're getting there, excuse the tree, I usually get a real one but my mum's gone a bit off on a, I don't know what that is. Pre-workout, I've just consumed one bagel with 30 grams of peanut butter to get some fats in, I've also had 20 mega Dynabol, prefer taking my orals pre-workout compared to splitting them throughout the day, just a lot better for my appetite, I find comparing the two, when I split my doses of an oral throughout the day, it affects my appetite a lot more. Just a quick, very quick run through of supplementation. Serious mass, I've been using this at breakfast time, but my preferred choice of a weight gainer is either True Mass 1200 or PhD Advanced Mass. The reason being that the carbohydrates is from oats, not dextrose. Dextrose bloats me a lot more, and fills me up a lot more than oats does. So once this is finished, I'm gonna move over to uh, BSM 1200 or if the PhD is on offer at the shop, I'll buy that. Pre-workout, if it's on offer, I'll grab it, but I don't use it every day. XE Edge is nice just because it's got a good serving of beta alanine and L-citrulline and a fairly decent serving of caffeine, not too high. Intra-workout carbohydrate source, SAS Go Energy. This is just maltodextrin. However, if you are comparing maltodextrin and dextrose, comparing that to Vitago and cyclic dextrin, if you've got the money, I would go for a cyclic dextrin just as it, it draws a lot less water into the gut when you are training an intra workout. But for anyone that sort of is on a budget, then go for something like a more dextrin. This was just cheap in the shop. You can just buy it straight from my protein. And a post workout, as I'm in off season, I'm not gonna be using Synthesis 6 or like the gold standard as that's just a pure protein. The True Mass is a, just a very, very good tasting overall, good sort of weight gainer, but I don't use the full serving. I use 100 grams, which gives me 50 grams of carbs and 27 grams of protein and a little bit of fat. So that's just roughly what I'm going, that I'm working with on this off season, leading up to contest prep at the start of February. I do weigh out my supplements because not all the time does one scoop equivalent. No, what is it? Equivalent, not one, one, one scoop. One scoop is not equivalent to. One scoop is not, not equi equivalent, equivalent to. to what it may say on the tin. So if I want 50 grams, I'll just weigh out 50 grams. What's happening? Pool session today. I feel like a newbie back in the gym. I love it. I feel like I just started training all over again. There's new love for it. I went on Train by JP's website and bought his membership per month, which I highly recommend. 
been sorting through his videos and his articles. I also contacted him via email to ask and inquire about a off-season training plan, but I seem to have equated enough information regarding training on his site anyway, so I may or may not buy the plan. But we did a pool session today, which is back and bicep, started with barbell bent over rows, and we did five sets of that. Underhand lap pull down, five sets of that, and five sets of single arm dumbbell rows, five sets of that. Rip range is 10 to 12, and as we get towards the latter sets, go for about five to eight repetitions. This is rotation number one for a pull session. We've got push today. And then I did some biceps, did seven sets of EZ bar curls, and we did some cable curls upstairs as well. But yeah, no, really enjoying... I don't know, I'm not saying enjoying training, but enjoying this little this little split. I, as you know, I was doing it before, but I was a little bit clueless. And um, it's not a bad thing to admit it sometimes, that you may need help for training or diet. Even if you are a bodybuilder or a personal trainer yourself, it's always very informative to look elsewhere. Going to go and pop down to James Holland's Edge Gym, King's Gym soon, grab some of his merchandise because I know he's... I think the t-shirts are ready now. And if you haven't been down that gym, get yourself down there because it's bloody lovely. Anyway, just finished off on cable curls. Did seven sets of these. Burning out, this was the last set. Successful pool session completed. For dinner, we're having 200 grams of linguine with some slices of courgette. And we've got king prawns here, raw king prawns. They're £14 per kilo at Tesco. Went to the fisherman's market in Bromley the other day. And there's no real difference, to be fair. I think it was about £12 for a kilo of shell-on prawns. So. I'm going to end the vlog there. Today is Monday. I've got a pool session. I'm going to go and jab 250 meg of sustenance on. Regarding the Psalms video, I've got everything collated and I want to start filming it. But the William Llewellyn 11th edition is out in January, so next month. So I may hold back on that, wait for that to come out, buy that implement even more information so sorry to keep you waiting anyway see you soon hope you enjoyed the video take care